And of I'm course, bro. Chungus. I'm so tight. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> tight. <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh All right. God. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying Kuga, right. Chungus, yeah. Roy, Corin. Take it away, Dita. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Let's get this match started. So far, we just got Roy and Corin just messing around on the left side of the stage. Kuga's just being patient. I like that. He's waiting. Swinging that nair, swinging that forward air. Those moves are so fast. So they're just great. <laughs> I feel like that's just a top tier move. I call that top tier privilege. Great juggles from Chungus, though. That up air is going to be such a saving grace in this matchup. Since it covers such a... <laughs> Sorry, I saw that forward smash and I just popped off a little bit. Double pin for the kill. Great, great stuff to Chungus. Hey, this is eSports. I almost cursed. I got to be careful. All right, let's see. Great roll read. Covered that option with a dancing blade. It also covers spot dodge, so that's good. Double roll. He has no fear. He's got a little pin. Now it's it's important for Chungus to get as much extra credit as he can. The problem is Roy is a uh, killing machine, and he can take stock, stocks with for like no problem. And so he's just got to worry about those down tilt setups, dancing blade on ledge, the jab, the jab sour spots, he's the saving grace. Oh, unfortunate SD by Chungus. Uh, he really needed as much extra credit that he could tackle on, but he got nothing on. Nice little down throw. Up air might have covered it, but he went for the back here to throw him off stage. Positioning advantage. Okay. Jumps back to the stage. Good on Chungus not going to the ledge. Oh, great rolling read with uh, by Kuga. Great forward smash and a counter too, but corn has got drift, and it's just not enough, unfortunately. Second stop going to Kuga, and right now, Chungus has got to switch up the game plan because I feel like Kuga's just getting aware on to, or just becoming aware of what Korn's options are and what Chungus is going to do, like just in neutral in general. And Roy especially can out-button Korn close up since his frame data just allows that. Korn's slower uh, frame data-wise and movement-wise, which is a real problem. And right now we're just seeing Kuga kind of steamroll Chungus this last stock. It seems like he's made a complete download, but another roll. These rolls are really helping in that. You know what helps even more? That tipper up smash. Jesus Christ. Another stock going to Chungus. We have a final, a last stock game. Great upbeat out of the corner, you know. Keeping it simple. And now we know what <laughs> we know what move Roy wants. Come on, throw out the jabs, throw out the jabs. But hey, there's also a whole variety of other moves you can use, including down tilt, including dancing blade, punish, uh, like a drop down there with an up smash too. Roy just has so many moves that can kill, but you can't count on count out Corrin because of the forward air change, the nair change. But all I see is an up air to take the game. First game going to Kuga. Great job to him for not letting. For not letting that first stock, that double pin, weigh him down. He he still stayed solid and he stayed consistent. And that's what you need in this game, consistency. It's the principle of the matter. Alright, let's see if uh, any of the players are going to switch it up. I wonder what stage they chose too. But, you know, they're going to stay true, tried and true to their uh, mains. Their sword. Sword characters are, I feel like... I feel like are just very consistent at practicing one sword character. I wouldn't go like another character. Like I play all cloud, I would just be playing all cloud during bracket. But anyways, let's get this game started. Quick little dancing blade conversion. Wow, waited for him to drop shield. That was a great bait and switch. Okay, right now Kuga is just mixing Chungus up, going for the roll read too, but the buffer's not there. But you know what is that dancing blade? Little taunt too. He's feeling himself. Okay, let's see if Chungus got, got anything to say about that. Up air, a little back air. It's cute. Don't SD, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, going to PS2, uh, kind of interesting because, like, you know, Roy, not the lightest, but, like, the fact is, like, super wide stage. Maybe you just want to try to create more space. Yeah. You know, close sides. Roy can, you know, really take advantage of that. That's true. That's true. I feel like the space, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the space definitely helps. But honestly, Roy is just rushing in right now. That, yeah. that pressure is just insane. And I feel like it's really easy for him to do that, since if you overcommit with Corin, the frame data just does not help. And yeah, that, 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 that's kind of what I mean. Like you know, the character is so slow. Like he's gonna fly around and be like, oh, I can make the space. Mm -hmm. And like you want to be like kind of close quarters uh, yeah. with Corin because like she's got those big buttons because you know she doesn't like swing super fast. Yeah. So it's just like, ooh. 
you got to be able to put your opponent like above you too and like juggle them with those up airs, those back airs yeah. to send them off stage. But Kuga's just not letting Chungus do that and ends yeah. the stock with a Dancing Blade. Very clean. Double-edged dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that Fire Emblem theme. We got <laughs> eight characters or nine characters with the exact same theme, but I'm not complaining. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Oh. Uh, boom. These up airs and then going for those forward smash reads, but it doesn't matter because then Dancing Blade just covers everything else. Mm-hmm. All right. Great Good set time. to both players. Wonder who we'll have next on. It's going to be uh, Make Make and Naji. I've seen Make Make play, but I, I haven't had like the privilege of commentating it's on the set, Roy. so I'm happy. Welcome back. <laughs> you know how it is. We're just playing Smash. We're enjoying uh, our time here. Yeah. Wait. What's I just up? have one question. You can ask me here. Okay. Is the person the person that's commentating? They're like, the stream can hear them, right? Because. I'm just getting tripped out at the fact that they're like not sitting next to me, but they're like I I'm talking to you. It's me. But are you like commenting? Yeah, I'm live right now. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I got that you. Makes sense. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay. I wouldn't be like actively engaging you if I wasn't. If, <laughs> yeah. If, if it wasn't hot. It's right just because the first game you didn't say much, and I was like, oh, did I? Yeah, no, you were on a roll. I was just leaving you, leaving okay. you going. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just didn't want to get like like flustered, you know. Yeah. Naji is from France. He's from France. That's wow. what uh, Star GG is saying. Interesting. Wow. I I saw someone from Texas here today. Is there like an international bracket going on? Oh man, what's going I'd on? Love to see it. I mean, hey, I'm I'm all for it. We got the the the, the invaders coming. Just trying to see what kind of play styles uh, yeah, the international GG. splash players like. If there's like some minute differences, I feel like Japanese Smash players are more defensive, but 